Okay, so in order to demonstrate eStock, I have set up two Anytime instance. And uh, this is my local installation with the admin account. And here on the right side, the virtual machine with the trainer account. So the admin will be creating the data and sharing it with, uh, with the trainer account. So I verify my access. So here uh, on the admin side, I have access as a designer to eStock. And the trainer account have access as a user in eStock. So uh, I'll go to uh, eSOC, and I see at the moment I don't have any parts. The parts are empty. Uh, I will go to master data and open the parts management, and then upload all the parts to eSOC. So it's going to take a few minutes to compile and compress the data and upload it to the cloud. And now the parts are uploaded. I can click open in eStock, and then the website will open, show me the parts. Uh, I can open it in a website, or I can open it from within eStock and, and the software. Um, parts are now are marked as draft, and I can release them. So select all the parts and I'll release. Now, um, and parts also have elements. So um, every every component inside the part, like uh, images, uh, accessory list, or uh, macros, all those are considered elements uh, or other objects. And then they have to be released as well. So each one of them have, have a unique identifier to be, uh, to be referenced to. So, uh, and that's going to give you the benefit of when you want to change them, uh, when you want to change one of them and they are being used in multiple parts, you don't have to go to all these parts and change them one by one. You change the record once and then it gets populated everywhere. And I'll, I'll show you an example in a second. So release parts. Now all the parts will be released. I can see now they are no longer marked as uh, uh, as drafts. So I have parts. Uh, I have uh, the collection, we can make it later. Um, the documents, so whatever what came with the parts, uh, Mac as macros or cut sheets, wherever, uh, all of these are also uploaded. And the, as, I, as I said, they are considered elements with a unique identifier. So when, once it's changed, change everywhere. Uh, of course, all the properties that you have locally are, are in, in the parts and management, it's also available here. So um, you can you can edit the data and you change them. Uh, you can add properties. So whatever properties you want to add here, uh, you can you can add it and modify it. Um, yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, look at one of the components that I have. So I have this contactor, and the image that I have here is is this one. And this contactor, the other one, is also have the same image. So they are all using the same image. So if I go and change this image, so under mounting data, you see the image file. If I click on that, another instance of eStock will open and will give me access to that image, and I can modify it. So if I want to modify this image, it's been used in two parts. If I modify it, it change data and go to browse and pick, for example, this image, hit add. Now, this image will, will change, okay? And I can release it. You see now the image has changed. Now, when I go back to the part, that was this one, when I go back to the part, you will see now the image has changed. Now, the preview did not update. I just need to refresh the page and then this will also update. So that's how easy you can modify content of parts by just you know changing that specific element and it will be populated everywhere with all these other parts. Now, uh, if I want to work with the parts uh, in my ePlan, I have to add them to collections. So collections are uh, a specific set of parts uh, that you choose to create in case you want to separate them by manufacturer or by process or by product. 
it depends on what what's the criteria what will be the criteria or you can just create a collection for everything so here i will select all the parts and i will click add a new collection i'll call it new collection and hit save and now the collection is going to be created and i will be able to access those collections in the um in the class software now um once the collection has been made, you can set it for sharing, so you can share it with other users. So now if I go to my uh, local ePlan admin account and switch the database uh, to uh, to eStock, so if I have something new, eStock, and I need to find the collection, there is a new collection here, and then hit OK. It's going to tell me that uh, the information will be overwritten, so need to make sure that you're not going to lose any you know, of your original data and it's going to download it and decompress it and uh, then I will be able to access those parts okay now the parts database that I have right now this is the eStock part database and you can see here parts management eStock collection new collection and those are the parts that I have in my collection um, you can see the properties on the parts, and of course you can use them in the project, but you will not be able to modify any of the content because everything is in the cloud. If you want to do any changes, you have to go um, to the cloud, and, and then you can change it from there, even if you are the admin. Okay, so um, I will go and open uh, eStock and then the software. And I can see now I have those parts and um, whatever information that was available or properties that was available for you in, in the parts management, it's also available here. So like all the properties, the, the function templates, um, you can also modify the function template. Um, and if you wanna add some properties, if you add some prop more properties, so like add properties and you add the property and you add the value there. So just like how you work in, uh, uh, with it locally, it's also the same functions are available. It's just a bit different interface. Okay. Um, of course, the variants, if you want to add variants, it's possible to control them from here. And also other the, the other elements, as I said, the documents, um, accessory list, um, all the other accessories, drilling patterns, connection uh, point pattern, manufacturers, just like the, the regular database that you have locally. And you will have the full, full, full uh, functions that you need to um, apply on, on the data. Now, uh, I'll go to my collection list and I have um, collection, a new collection here. That's an old collection, it's an empty. So you can delete it or you can, um, you can keep it. So this is a new collection. Now, when I go to my trainer account and open eStock, uh, I will be able to see the parts on eStock, but I don't see the collections because no collections were shared yet. Um, and as a, as a user, um, they cannot create collections. So they can see the parts in, uh, in, in eStock, but if they try to, let's say, access the parts in, in the master database, so if, they go, if I go to the parts management, on my trainer account and try to change the database um, here. So I want to switch to eStock. I don't see any collection because no collection was shared with that user. So now if I go to my um, collections on the admin account and activate the sharing, share with all users, now um, that user will be notified probably here. I see now new collection is available. So you can open that collection and now you can see the parts inside the collection. And then when, when I go now to parts management, I will be able to access that collection. So in the settings, go to eStock and um, probably I'll just do uh, reopen ePlan so that the information get updated. So, and now 
I go to master data, this time I should be able to access the collection. So settings, collection, and now new collection is available. Hit OK. Again, same message. Start downloading and decompressing the files, and then I'll be able to access the parts locally there. I'm starting to import. Now it's been successfully imported. And now I can see the parts that I have from uh, this collection. Okay. Now, uh, anytime this a change happens, let me close this stuff. So anytime a change happens, so let's say uh, I will go and, and change something on my on one of the parts. Um, so, for example, uh, on on this part, uh, I will do a change. So go edit and change the type number to test one for example and hit this and then i release release the change now if i go to my um uh, uh, trainer account the user you can see now i'll be notified there was a change in the parse database because it was updated and i will request to be refreshed or updated and then if I open the parse database, I can look up the uh, the property, the, uh, the type number. So type. You will see now the type number has changed to uh, test one to reflect what has changed in the database by the administrator. So that's how easy you can um, share the data and change it seamlessly without too much efforts uh, with uh, other stakeholders in the organization. Hope that was beneficial. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.